post show. The lights have come up. Empty plastic wine glasses lit to the floor. I'm in the bar next door trying to calm down. Drain the adrenaline in. Go through the couple of mistakes I made to hear the match up to yesterday and put steps in place to rectify them for tomorrow night. And he sidles up to me with a grin. Is this your hobby or something? No, it's my job. No way, he says. You get paid for this. This is how you make a living. There are kids starving in the world and once we pay our taxes, you punt about on stage. His argument is nonsensical and it's flawed and it's not like I haven't heard it before. It's just that this time it seems to hurt harder and sting faster because now Nicky Morgan has had a fuel to the fire of their argument that this isn't a real job. So I walk away. I swallow my reply. Not thinking about the three hours I spent rehearsing that afternoon or the 90 minutes tech run through this evening or the four trips to the toilets before the lights came up because I thought I might be sick. But twice weekly meetups in rehearsal rooms, the days and evenings with blank pages and frustration, the 10 minutes stolen in a school car park trying to get a piece finished for a deadline, every street run down to make the last train in time, the nights out ended early and the friends cancelled on to finish work that couldn't wait, every funding application scrawled across and the thank you but unfortunately replies, the clock at midnight we still not got something we can and agree is right or the bags under our eyes and I say let's just go through this one more time or the days disappeared into nights trying to learn it line for line and all of that for Nicky Morgan to tell me the choices I have made will hold me back for the rest of my life promote science please do and maths and technology and engineering they're important and have their own issues but in the rare position that you hold where young people might actually listen to you don't write off great swathes of something so crucial to our day to day and insult the teachers who along to the facts and the figures teach us stories and the sounds and the pictures and the message do something you love and work hard at it whatever it is don't make some broad brush statement about arts and humanities limiting somebody's life choices because you're the mother of the girl at my school who said don't go to university and study creative writing nobody makes a living from being a writer you don't limit some dead-end job because she did maths so she did maths and she was good at it, and she became an accountant. I saw her on a train last Tuesday, and she says she earns 60 grand a year and wakes up most days fighting the urge to hate herself. Your my old boss has said, well, it's a nice hobby, isn't it? But is that really how you want to spend your spare time? Get number five just to write. Anyway, the bags under your eyes are affecting productivity. You make it sound like something dirty. So you've done in garages and attic rooms, the occasional run-down, funding-starved library, not something that lets us talk down the generations and back through history. The fingerprint models shapes and the walls are caves, the blaze of our cultures, the day-to-day -day peasant and drunkard in the theatre pit. Every fear and anger fuel for all poet, from charge of the light brigade to seek free to sue and how else are we had taught World War One in the days before YouTube. The teenage girl terrified in a German attic room and every child who learned empathy from a book that teaches strength and courage against the worst of enemies. The poem that attacks a stuck-up out of touch politician and the pints raised in recognition of the stories told by folk musicians. The boy wrapped up in autism who struggles to communicate through emotion but can tell you how he feels the colour and sound. Or the refugee too scared to speak who finds words on the lips of hip-hop artists begins writing her own lyrics and discovers what her art is. So belittle this. By all means, stand at your lectern spout the opinions you think will win you votes like they all do but don't fear monger and don't guilt trip don't tell the 14 year old with a form to fill in that if you love what you do there is ever any reason to stop doing it